Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I have a bunch of DVDs to go through today to just add to my collection to show you guys. So just dive right on in. A lot of these I have watched already and I've upgraded. So I'm, as I'm going through them, I'm going to sort through them. So the first one here I need to upgrade on. I don't think I don't think I have the the Blu-ray of this. This is an IFC uh, Midnight Scream Factory release of uh, What Keeps You Alive. This is a very like out, um, crazy movie kind of gave me a little bit of like high tension vibes through throughout the whole film so if you guys enjoyed that one I definitely recommend this one uh, this is from uh, 2018 uh, 99 minutes and it stars Hannah Emily Anderson Brittany and, and uh, Brittany Allen so yeah, there's two of them together it's a very strange film but I definitely recommend it uh, next up is a Shudder original. Um, I know a lot of people didn't like this film. I thought it was very weird. I enjoyed it though. That is uh, uh, Terrified. Uh, this is in English and Spanish. This is... I forget where this was actually filmed. Where this was actually filmed, but... Uh, yeah, it, it's... If you like weird, like, ghost supernatural horror you, you'll definitely enjoy this one not only is that guy strange but the dead kid that was that really got me too uh the only blu-ray i randomly found it in the other room and that is a uh, phone booth uh joel schumacher film uh what year is this from 2001 uh starring colin farrell forrest whitaker katie holmes and Kiefer sutherland so a good cast in this one uh, I don't think I've actually got around to watching most. I've seen part bits and pieces, but never the whole thing. Uh, next up is a film from Stuart Gordon that was not... I don't believe this was a sci-fi film. It's just a suspense film that is uh, Stuck with uh, Stephen Ray and Manny Savari. Uh, this is an image release from 2007. Uh, I do enjoy Stuart Gordon's uh, work, so that's why I picked this up. I think I got this at Dollar Tree, too, if I'm not mistaken. So, glad to have that one. Uh, next up, we have all four of the series. So we got the double feature of Robert and Curse of Robert. So it's the old uh, The Revenge of Robert, Robert and the Toymaker. So, yeah, all four films. I've only seen the first one, so I gotta go back and watch those. Uh, next up we have, unfortunately, the director passed away recently, and that was really sad. So, we have uh, Laid to Rest and Laid to Rest 2, Crumb Skull. I like the first one better than the second one, but they're both crazy, fun films. Uh, next up we have two Wild Eye triple features. So this one is a psycho killer triple feature. We have All Saints Eve, Bad versus Worse, and The Turnpike Killer. I haven't watched any of these yet, and I'm sure they're not great. They look they look bad. So yeah. And then we have the True Crime, which is the Housewife Slasher, the Long Island Serial Killer, and a Dead Woman's Hollow. Again, I haven't seen any of these, and they're probably really bad. Uh, next up, we have uh, The Cable Guy, which I need to upgrade on. It's, it's a crazy funny movie, so <clears throat> definitely recommend this one. Uh, ben Stiller directed this one. And of course, you have Jim Carrey and Matthew Broderick. Uh, George, George Siegel's in here, too. Rest in peace, sir. So there's that. <clears throat> Next up we have uh, Big Top Pee Wee. Uh, this one I don't believe I actually ever got around to watching. I have seen uh, Big Adventure, of course, and the TV series. So, uh, let's see who's in here. Chris Christopherson and Susan Tyrell and Valerie Gal Galino. Is that how you say her name? Uh, yep. Not Tim Burton. This is not a Tim Burton film. This is a Randall Kleiser film from 1988. 
And <clears throat> last in this stack, we have a music DVD of a band that I really enjoy. Well, enjoyed. Um, they're not they're not together anymore. Their bassist uh, died in a uh, uh, car accident. Not his fault. Some jackass was uh, drunk and killed him. So. Unfortunately, they had the they just decided going on. They decided to break the band up, but <clears throat> a lot of them are still doing pursuing music careers with other projects. So, and that is the band Acid Bath, and this is Double Live Bootleg. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you've heard of Acid Bath before. It's one of my favorite uh, metal bands of all time. Uh, it's just this is just different live uh, versions from different. Yeah, Different shows from uh, 90, uh, see, 96, 92, 93, 94. So just different shows. So there's the track listing on the back from the different shows. I got it at FYE a while back, so <clears throat> still has the sticker on it. Uh, <clears throat> this one, I have one that's on Blu ray now, but the other three I need to upgrade still, and that is the uh, Warner Brothers four film favorites Twisted Terror collection. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I have I have someone's watching me on Blu ray, but I have not upgraded the other three yet. I definitely want to get these two. This one I haven't watched yet of the hand, but I'll probably upgrade it. And this is when they, uh, they stacked their discs, so. But yeah, I definitely recommend Eyes of a Stranger and Deadly Friend. <coughs> uh, this one I've already upgraded on, so I can get rid of this DVD, and that is Hollywoodland. <coughs> great, uh, great film. Definitely one of my favorite dramas from uh, 2007. So, highly recommend that one. Sorry, I gotta, I gotta take a walk, take a drink here. <clears throat> uh, next up we have a shot on video uh, horror film here from SRS I never got the blu-ray of it and I, I should <clears throat> if I could ever find it and that is uh, channel 13 this is a Polonia Brothers uh, film from 1987 and it was never finished and never released until uh 2019 so that's definitely it's it's very strange I, I thought it was I thought it was fun but it's not for everybody so if you like shot on video horror definitely recommend channel 13 <clears throat> oh this movie I'll tell you guys this movie was uh, something else I don't know let me know if you've seen this this is a uh, Obviously, I got this for like two bucks at a flea, indoor flea market a, long, a couple years back. And this is, uh, I'll kill you, I'll bury you, I'll spit on your grave too. <laughs> this movie is so bad. This is from 2000. I think this is from 2000. It might be from earlier than that. But yeah, this film is, uh, is what we call hot trash, guys. Hot trash. So let me, get, let me read you the synopsis here. Uh, a summer camp turns into a nightmare while the partying leads to erotic play for some. Others are being stalked and attacked by a crazed killer. The sadist demands sex and distributes horror. So, yeah, don't, don't if you guys want to check this out, go right ahead, but don't say I didn't warn you. Uh, next up we have they came from beyond space. I need to upgrade this. I know it's, it just got a I recently got a uh, I think Kino put this on I believe I think so so this is uh, Sci-fi from 1967 I Showed the first one in another video so in the third one. So this is the second one and this is uh, extra to the second encounter it's another alien film. This is from, uh, uh, hang on, I don't remember, I can't, sorry, I can't read Roman numerals. Uh, I think it was late 80s. I want to say it was the late 80s. Uh, I've seen the first film, I have not seen two or three. So this one stars Jan Michael Vincent. So 
and it's an alien flick. So I like I like me some alien flicks. <sighs> Look at that. That's a it's only a face a mother would love, right? I guess. Uh, <clears throat> this one, I think this one has a Blu-ray. I'm not a hundred percent. This is a film from 1971. Uh, this is put up by Dark Sky Films, and that is Werewolves on Wheels. Uh, this particular DVD was put out in 2006. So, um, and it's it's a heavy it's heavy, but it's just because it has this uh, this DVD catalog list inside, so nothing nothing that that important. Uh, next up, we have an Artisan Films, Artisan Home Entertainment release from 1995, and that is uh, Witchboard 3, The Possession. Uh, I have not seen this one. I actually got to watch part two before I watch this one, even though I don't think they actually, all any three of them actually go together. They're just different stories. <clears throat> this one was not directed by uh, Kevin S. Tenney. This was... Uh, directed by Peter Svatek. I'm not sure who that is. So, um, it looks creepy. It's it's got this like like devil devil guy there. That's interesting. Yeah, here's here's a better picture of him. Uh, that's creepy. But yeah, let me know if you've seen this one. I heard it's not great. Like I heard the other two were fantastic compared to that one. Uh, next up, we have a film from 2001, directed by Larry Clark, and that is Bully. I have not watched this one yet either. I do enjoy Larry Clark's films, though. This one has Brad Renfro. Uh, I don't know, I'm going to butcher this person's name. <clears throat> B Bijou Phillips. Uh, Rachel Miner, Michael Pitt, Kelly Gardner, Leo Fitzpatrick, and of course, Nick Stahl. So... Good cast there. Uh, this one I've already upgraded on. I showed a couple of videos back. And this is uh, Butcher Baker, Nightmare Maker. Uh, I enjoy I enjoy this film, so I definitely recommend that one. <clears throat> Next up we have a Mill Creek multi-pack here. Of, uh, it's called Strange Things. Uh, 11 movie collection here. Uh... There's a few things on here I don't, I don't need and in, in to have on blue uh, DVD anymore because I have the Blu-rays. But <clears throat> some of these I need to, uh, I need to go back and watch again. So we have uh, Pulse, which I've already upgraded with on Space Hunter. I've already upgraded that one. Crawl, I need to get. My mom's a werewolf. I don't think that has a Blu-ray yet. Uh, the Hearse, I know Vinegar Syndrome put that out. Lurkers, another Vinegar Syndrome release. Slipstream, Mutant, Warriors of the Wasteland, Alien Contamination, and Eternal Evil. So some of these don't have Blu-rays yet, but a lot of them do. So we'll, we'll get there. This one has a Blu-ray as well. I got this when I was in, uh, I think my first trip to LA, I think. I'm not, yeah, I think I, I think I picked this up at um, for the first time I went to Fry's Electronics. That's, no, no, it's not there anymore. But uh, So I picked up Spaced Invaders on DVD, the 25th anniversary edition. Uh, this is another Mill Creek release. So, yeah. uh, up next is one of my favorite comedies of all time. I got this. I believe, yeah, I believe I got this at uh, GameStop when they actually had DVDs. I know I went, I went to a few movie stops before they went out of business too, but I don't think I, I think I've had this one for a while in the collection actually. And I still don't think it has a Blu-ray. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that is from 2001 and that is the movie Slackers. This movie is ridiculously funny this has got uh devon sawa uh jason schwartzman james king jason siegel michael c marona and uh laura preppen this guy really good cast in this one yeah i forgot uh, michael c marona was in this film so that's pretty neat 
Uh, next up, we have uh, Mario Bava's Shock, aka Beyond the Door 2. This movie is crazy too. I, I enjoy the first one more, but this one's also as crazy. Uh, we have uh, The Sender from 1982. This one I have not watched yet, but this one looks pretty crazy too. Uh, this was put out by Paramount. And next up is one of my all-time favorite Alfred Hitchcock films. It has Jimmy Stewart in it, and that is Rope. Uh, from 1948, uh, also starring uh, Sir Cedric Hardwick, and Joan Chandler, John Dahl, uh, Farley Granger, and Constance Collier. So definitely recommend Rope if you guys enjoy Hitchcock and haven't seen this one. Uh, up next is a double feature. I have the first one on Blu-ray. The second one just got a Blu-ray announcement from uh, Scream Factory. I'm still kind of iffy on picking it up though because I haven't watched it yet, but I heard it's not great. That is The Terror Within and Dead Space. Yeah, I've seen Terror Within. I've not seen Dead Space, so I know they're only making 1,500 copies, so I should probably get on watching this one soon. So I'll probably watch this one probably either tonight or tomorrow night. So we'll see. Uh, next up is a film that I was told to pick up and check out. But I picked it up but I never checked it out. And this is a film from 2007. Called uh, Ten Inch Hero. Uh, this is a comedy. With Sean Patrick Flannery, uh, Jensen Ackles, John Doe. Alice Krieg, Clea Duvall, and Elizabeth um, Harno Harno Harnoy. That's how I say it. Harnoy. So I'll have to check that one out soon as well. Uh, next up, we have <clears throat> uh, Sorority House Massacre One and uh, Part Two. Part these are out of print. I found them. <clears throat> at a second in Charles like one of the first times I ever went to one so I snagged them and I'm glad I did because uh, they are extremely hard to find now uh, part one it does have a blu-ray but that one is like stupid going for stupid money this one I don't think I ever had a blu-ray and then there's a part three with aka hard to die and they call it Sorority House Massacre 3 but <clears throat> I don't think it actually takes place in a sorority house, and it was, uh, I believe that one was directed by Jim Marnowski, if I'm not mistaken. These were, I don't think these were, uh, first one was directed by Carol Frank, second one was directed by, hang on, gotta look here, yeah, part two was written by, was directed by Jim, uh, so, yeah. Those are those two. <clears throat> uh, next we have a film which the leading actress passed away a couple years ago and that is The Sleeper. Uh, I was referring to uh, Brittany Belland. I don't remember any exact details but I heard about it and it's pretty sad. So this is a throwback to the uh, 80s well, it's a, it was from the 2012, but it's a throwback to the 80s slasher genre films. So, uh, I heard it's pretty good, but I'm going to have to give that a watch. Uh, next up, we have uh, from the makers of Rocky Horror Picture Show, that is Shock Treatment. Apparently, this is the unofficial sequel to Rocky Horror Picture Show. Um, I haven't... I think I've seen bits and pieces of this, but never all the way through. <clears throat> this one I have already, so I can send this on its way. That is uh, Shivers. This is the old DVD from Image Entertainment. Uh, and it's, you can tell it's old too, but just by the way the disc looks, it's all silk screen. So yeah. Send that on its way. Uh, next up is a full moon release here. 
uh, from 1990, and that is called Shadow Zone, starring uh, James Hong, uh, Louise Fletcher, and uh, David B. Croft. So yeah, I've got a good cast here, so I figured I'd have to give it a watch here soon. I've had it in the collection for years. I know, I, I, I get things and I never watch them. What else is new? Uh, this one I have, I think I, okay, yeah, I already have this on Blu-ray. This was a uh, X uh, rental, I'm not sure where it's from though. The disc isn't, isn't in the greatest shape anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of dirty. It's not scratched, it's kind of dirty. And that is the film Screamers. I do have the Blu-ray now from Scream Factory, so I can send this on its way. So this one stars Peter Weller, Jennifer Rubin, Roy Dupuy, and Andy Lauer from 1996. Uh, this was written by Dan O'Banion and Michael Tejada Flores. So everyone knows Dan, Dan O'Banion, rest in peace. Uh, next up, we have a Roger Corman uh, triple feature here from uh, Shout Factory. Uh, we have Attack of the Crab Monsters, War of the Satellites, and Not of This Earth. Uh, all your creature features here. I think all these are, let's see, Crab Monsters are from 1957, Not of This Earth 1958, and War of the Satellites also from 1958. I'm just going to fly through these. I have so many to, to do, so I might just stop halfway. Uh, I've already upgraded this one too, and that is uh, Savannah Smiles. This is an MVD visual release from a film from 1980. I already talked about it in a previous video. Uh, we have River's Edge, uh, directed by Tim Hunter, starring Crispin Glover, Keanu Reeves, Dennis Hopper, Daniel Roebuck, Roxana Zal. Great, good cast here. Uh, this one I've upgraded as well, and that is Return of Oz. So I just got the DVD and the Blu-ray from uh, uh, the Disney Movie Club. Uh, next up, we have a film. Uh, so I don't want to. I don't want to trigger anybody so because i know someone's afraid of of this thing so we have rats uh night to terror uh this is uh, from 1983 uh directed by bruno bruno i gotta say his name matai mati uh, i think that's mati so yeah this is a crazy movie from the director of Hell of the Living Dead. Yeah, I don't want to show the cover. I know I know a certain somebody that watches my videos is is, is definitely afraid of uh, any kind of mouse or rat. So I want to, yeah. So I don't want to him to look have that person look away. Uh, next up, we have uh, Hello Mary Lou, Prom Night Two. I'm still waiting on that Blu-ray. And then we have Prom Night 3 and 4, uh, The Last Kiss and Deliver Us from Evil. Uh, I haven't watched, I haven't watched these yet. Uh, they're both on one disc, but I heard 3 and 4 were not good. I heard Part 2 was actually better than Part 1, which isn't saying much. Part 1 was okay in my opinion, but it was kind of boring. Uh, next up we have a, another, uh, well this isn't, it is not Full Moon, but it, it is, it is a Full Moon movie, but this is an artisan release of Oblivion, uh, starring Andrew DeVoff, Meg Foster, Isaac Hayes, Julie Newmar, George Takai, so I got a really good cast here. Uh, this is a sci-fi horror from 1994. And I think it's got some sort of like Western in it too, which is very strange. So, Western sci-fi horror film. Uh, next up, we have a full moon here of uh, Another World 
from 1992, starring Robert Burr, uh, Michael Bendetti, Denise Gentile, uh, Arjun Anjanette Comer, and Holly Floria. Uh, don't recognize a lot of those names, so. This is another, like, creepy horror film. Kind of like, this is kind of like a, uh, uh, I don't know. You can read the synopsis if you want to. I think it has some sort of like vibes of like Hellraiser or something. Um, next is a film that I surprisingly I got for five dollars. I know this movie is crazy and people frown upon it, which I understand. It's not for everybody, especially what happens in these movies i haven't watched it yet i'm kind of on the fence of watching it or just selling it and that is uh necromantic 2. uh this one has the dvd and the soundtrack inside and this nice little uh, fold out actually the soundtrack has uh songs from the first and second film there's 31 different tracks on it so that's pretty neat i do not own part one in my collection i've had many opportunities to pick it up but i've always passed on it and then lastly here we have a film uh i forget where this is i'm not sure exactly where this one's from but this is a uh oh I guess you can, I don't want to call it a Latino film, but you know, they do speak Spanish in this one, I believe. Maybe it is, and it says it's in English, but okay. It is uh, My Vida Loca, My Crazy Life. Uh, wait, what year is this actually? This, the, the DVD was put out in 2004, but I believe this is from the 90s, I think. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you remember this film. But yeah, this takes place in Echo Park, Los Angeles. And I might have been around that area before, so... Not, I'm not familiar, I'm not too familiar with it, but I know the name. So, there's that. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop now. And continue in the next video. Because um, I have, like, the same amount of this, maybe a little bit more to go through, so... I'll cut it short today, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll be posting another one here real shortly, so stay tuned.